everybody. I thought I would try a different format for you guys and get you oriented to work your events for this season at the Miami Beach Convention Center as a bar or bartender employee. So, um, welcome. If you have not accepted your shifts in staff mate, um, I need for you to log in as soon as humanly possible and accept those shifts. And that needs to be done usually within 24 to 36 hours of the shift being assigned, or if the shift times change, you'll need to log in and accept the shift again. So we're going to cover a few things. First, we're going to start with parking. As a bar or bartender employee at the convention center, your parking will be validated. So what I need for you to do is park at the municipal garage and that is located at the intersection of 17th Street and Convention Center Drive, right there at the light. It'll be right there. So when you pull in, you'll be given a little white ticket, and then you go and park. You will bring the ticket with you to check in. You will write your name on it, and one of us will validate your parking ticket and return it to you at some point during the shift. That way, you're all set. Um, if you park somewhere besides the municipal garage, it's really, there's nothing I can do about the, the parking situation there. I only have the ability to make sure that you get validated if you park in the municipal garage. Um, so there you have it. The next thing I want to talk to you about is um, punctuality, being on time for your shift. This is um, the number one complaint that we receive from clients is employee lateness. And it's not, it's not fun for anybody to have an upset client and for us to be, you know, trying to track you down by the phone, you know, and within moments. So understand that when you're working the convention center, a lot of times there's going to be super heavy traffic because those are popular large events. You need to give yourself time. If you've lived in Miami for a minute, you know that there's going to be extraordinary traffic. You also need to give yourself time to park and walk the two blocks to the convention center to get to check-in. Sometimes that adds another 15 to 20 minutes on top of your drive time. So please factor all of that in and make sure that you're arriving for work on time. The next thing is your uniform. Now, the director of food service is actually going to line you guys up and make sure that your uniform is correct and clean before you're allowed to work. People get sent home every time for having in incorrect or inappropriate uniforms. So I'm going to take a minute on this. Everybody is going to need a black button-down dress shirt, okay? It's long sleeve, very plain, and here is one, okay? Black button-down dress shirt. Regular collar, you'll notice there are no pinstripes, there's no strange designs or anything like that. So that's the first thing you need. With that, you are going to be wearing a black necktie, okay? Plain black necktie. Okay, and I will link um, a YouTube video to this channel with some how to tie your necktie <laughs> um, instructional videos because that's always a, a hitch for some of the ladies and even some of our younger gentlemen. You will also need a black vest. Okay, this is a plain polyester black uniform vest. You'll notice there are no pinstripes, no shadow stripes, no satin back. Um, you can find these at Burlington Coat Factory in the menswear section usually for about $10. And it's a great buy. You should get a couple of them. And, um, and there you have it. In terms of pants, tuxedo pants are fine if that's what you have from catering. Also acceptable are plain black dress pants, and um, ladies, please, 
no low rise with giant belt loops and different colored stitching, no leggings, no, 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 no. Plain black dress pants. Um, with that, you will wear black socks. Please wear black socks because white socks will look very pretty. And black closed toed shoes. Make sure your shoes are comfortable enough for you to walk long distances and they may not be sneakers or anything sneaker looking. Um, and, and that's pretty straightforward in terms of the uniform. Your uniform must be clean and it must be ironed. Please um, don't get sent home for, for not having an appropriate uniform. Ladies, um, stud earrings, no dangles, no hoops, ladylike hair and makeup, and you will be fine. Please don't wear colognes, um, and please do not bring bags with you to the convention center. If at all possible, do not um, bring anything except what you can carry in your pocket. Bartenders, um, your bar kit, obviously, you need to bring with you your shaker, your strainer, um, measuring cups if you think you're going to need them, a wine key, and a bottle opener are all necessary objects. So you can have a small bag with those items only in it. There is no place for you to keep your bag. There's no place for you to keep your purse. There's nowhere to lock it. All your stuff is going to get stolen. So that's why it's not, it's not, um, out of a hatred of purses. So as long as you guys can get those items clear, you're going to have a really good experience working at the convention center. Again, uniform correct, on time, parking in the right place, and bringing your ticket for validation are all very important. And then um, make sure that you have accepted your shift in staff mate. Please don't expect for Julia to be um, psychic and know what your intentions are if you have not logged in. You click the green check mark to accept or the red X to decline. If you, um, if you need to get in touch with me or Julia, please do not do that during late night hours, especially for Julia. Um, that it, it's just not professional and it's just not nice. So if you expect to be answered, <laughs> go ahead and, and give a text or an email or a phone call during normal business hours. And I thank you and I look forward to seeing you all on Friday the 12th for whichever training shift you have accepted. Thank you so much. Have a great day.